What's up everyone, I'm Dodza and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. I guess I didn't learn my lesson the first time. So, let's start a new ship. But first we'll check what we need. So, still need to get some furniture and a fair bit more credits. But nothing compared to the debt. So, if we need furniture, let's grab... No. Let's see which one has a high percentage of furniture. So, it looks like either one of these two would be a good choice, as they've got 6% in what I guess is furniture. Um, and everything else is more or less the same. So, let's grab this one and let's get started. Okay, so since the last part I have learnt a couple more things and remembered a few things in the last time. I can pull these sides off using tethers uh, once I cut them open so that's that's very handy and I've learnt how to do it quite efficiently as well. So let's start with cutting this off. There's one. Here we go. Let's grab that. Put that down there as well. Take that antenna. Launch that away. Okay. Now let's get inside. To stop myself from accidentally bursting a pressurized airlock again. I've learnt how to, uh, I've learnt how to depressurize them and not have to worry about that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Just like that. All right, let's take this floor off. Make it nice and easy to get everything else. All right. And if I can push this down enough. Yep, that works. Let's do that. And we'll grab this one here as well. Well, cut it out first. Uh, let's up a little bit. Do that as well. Pull that down that in there. Let's grab this. Come on. Down you come. There we go. And send that in there as well. I'll grab that down to there. Alright, so that is all the flooring and the reactor. Ah, I also need for my work order. I need a power cell and nanocarbons. Okay, cool. That's nice and easy. Uh, data drive. Let's grab that. Let's get rid of that trash. Let's start taking out these chairs because I need those. There we go. Let's grab that. Let's save those for if I run out of thrusters and oxygen because those are on the side. Uh, let's grab this. Send that down there. That as well. Let's move out of the way of this. Because these, I believe, can hurt you. Yep. I just blew up on my oxygen tanks. Yep, I certainly did. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this roof as well. You know what? I can use this on these. I just need to remember to... Watch those little dots to make sure I'm only cutting it. And not potentially cutting anything dangerous. Alright. Grab that. Down to there. And that one that way. Let's come down and underneath. Processing valuable 
Cut that. Cut that. Push this up. Alright. Send that over there. Something else I learned is how to take out this thruster in here. Oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide Ooh. can cause damage to cool. equipment. Let's go grab one of those oxygen tanks. Uh, there it is. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Can I pull that back? Oh, I can. Oh, there we go. Ah, I pressed the wrong button again. Well, that's gone. Guess I should go buy some then. Yeah, I'm working on, I'm working on it. Oxygen, tethers. Awesome. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's uh definitely gone. Okay. Let's grab this reactor. Not reactor, uh thruster. So this here. I learned how to take these out. It's actually pretty easy. Just gotta first pull this off. And send that that way. And then slowly and carefully pull that out. And then I can just tether that down to there. There we go. There's the bulk of that taken. And this one here. Send that that way. Anything else? Thruster fuel can wait. Uh, knock off Pepsi can go that way. Uh, anything else? Is that drunk up there? Oh, it's a pickup. Utility key. Okay. Not sure what that's for, but cool. Go this as well. Oh, we should find this power cell before we run out of time. Uh, let's see, where is the power cell? Thruster. It's the airlock. Um, is that the, the power cell's there. Okay. All right. All right, so let's, let's take this one out. Now I learnt also that I can cut just these pieces from in between the structural aluminium or aluminum, depending on where you're from. I can cut just the four pieces around the outside. And that's enough to disconnect this piece here. But it also allows me to see these connection points where I can disconnect them both. Come underneath. And with my tether, with my grapple, I can just tether that piece away. And I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Why is that not disconnecting? Or is it just jammed? I think it might just be jammed. Okay. Well, that's not good. So let's see if I can disconnect the other one. Yeah, I disconnected it. Okay. This would be much easier if it wasn't moving. Come on. Cut that one. Cut that one. That's much better. Okay. Accidentally pulled the ship across, but okay. I don't know if this is going to be safe to grab, so let's find out. See if it's explosive or not. 
Yep. Very explosive. Okay. Okay. Well. I made a big mess. Again. I was a little too eager to get that power cell, I think. So let's start clearing this up. Maybe I should have removed the fuel tank first. Oh, the, the whole side piece would have been better to move. Ah. Yeah, that definitely would have been better. Come on. Okay. No. Get up in there. Well, I better head back for the oxygen. I think I should definitely upgrade that uh, next time I can get... Next time I can afford it. Which should hopefully be when we return to the hab. So... Let's... Uh, come on. There we go. Oxygen. Tethers. And we'll head back. Whoa, that, that took a massive chunk. Wow. Okay. That's going to take a bit to clean up. But I missed the power cell again. So, I didn't get all of the, uh, all of the Lynx tokens I needed. Well, I didn't get all the Lynx tokens I could have got on this ship. But let, let's hope we can get enough in the way of salvage to, to cover the day and possibly start a new one tomorrow. Is it easier to see with this? Not particularly. It also looks like when you blow up a whole bunch of ship... Uh, it stops being aluminum or nanocarbons and just becomes scrap. Uh, is there a chunk? Oh, yep. There is a chunk hanging out the back there. Okay, so we've got a minute. Alright. I just realized I probably should have just ignored all this scrap. And gone on to salvaging the other half of the ship or the cockpit materials, but we might actually come back out to the ship and see what we can get. Okay, let's continue. Fire that in there. All right, and back we go to the hab. After that disaster of a shift. But, hey, we got our, um, and next to the certificate level. Awesome. And that unlocked. New cutter upgrades, grapple upgrades, thruster upgrades, helmet upgrades. Awesome. And bigger ships. Um, so that could be interesting. But we definitely got a lot. And it looks like scrap. Scrap isn't even worth it. So I may... I may actually just start a new ship because I've grabbed most of the valuable things except for maybe the other fuel tank. So, yeah, I might actually start a new ship in the next one. Uh, for the next shift, I mean. Okay, so we got just under a million uh, after being stripped of our, um, our loaning fees. So, let's check our equipment. Um, we seem to run out of oxygen the quickest, so let's let, let's grab some oxygen, uh, which I believe is here. Okay, 175. Yes. Increase our oxygen capacity and hopefully be able to stay out for longer. We can check what we need for the next certificate. We need a reactor and we need a thruster, so we can easily get those very quickly. And 12 work order objectives and 13 and a half million credits. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, why not say hi in the comments down below. Until next time, I'll see you later.